Hi guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little fox. To start my fox, I'm going to come to the center of my page and begin with his nose by drawing a small, slightly tilted triangle. So the top line of my triangle is curving or angled just upwards a little bit. Next, I'm going to draw out the bottom a little line to indicate where his mouth will be. For the eyes, I'm going to draw two ovals, one on each side of the nose. The bottom of my eyes will be in line with the bottom of the nose. When you draw your eyes like this, they always look super cute. Next, I'm going to sweep in the eyelid by just tracing over the top of the eye and extending a small line out past that. Then, I'm going to draw in the highlights for my fox, this time drawing a large curve at the bottom of the eye and a small heart resting just on top. Then I'm going to fill in all around the highlights. You can choose any color you like. You don't even need to do this step now. Let's add in the cheeks by sweeping a small curve starting from one side of the bottom of the eye, drawing underneath and connecting on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on both eyes. To create the mask for my fox, I'm going to put a little dot just about center of the nose, just slightly above it. Then from there, I'm going to sweep a curved line over top of the eye, stopping just about where the eyelid is, or the top of the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now we have what looks like the top of a heart. To continue the face, I'm going to start to draw out some little wavy lines to create fur at the side of the fox's face. I'm going to do this on both sides, stopping just about at the bottom of the cheek. Then to close the head, I'm going to draw one curved line that sweeps all the way underneath the face. To draw the rest of the fox's head, I'm going to come back to the side of the face, so almost right where I started my fur, and I'm going to start drawing a curved line up towards the center of the head, so that would be in line with the center of the nose, or that little peak in the heart shape of his face. Then I'm going to continue that line and close it off on the other side. To draw my fox's ears, I'm going to come back to that same starting point and I'm going to draw two big triangles. So to do that, I'm going to start by drawing one curved line that's curving towards the top of the head and then drawing a straighter line that's coming down to touch the top of the head. Do the same thing on the other side, curving your line towards the center and then closing off the ear with a straight line. You can create the inside of the ear by mirroring those lines in a smaller triangle. Then to make my fox extra cute, I'm going to give him some little eyebrows. In fact, I think I'm even going to give him a little half smile. There we go super cute. To plan out his body, I'm going to start by creating two markers that are in line with the outside edges of his cheeks. These lines are going to be angled towards each other as if you were going to draw a long triangle. Then starting on the left side, I'm going to start drawing an angled line with a few little bumps to make it look like fur, and then I'm going to start to straighten that line towards the bottom of my page. Going back to where that marker is touching the neck, I'm going to start to create the back of my fox's body. So I'm going to draw from under the head a slightly curved line, and then I'm going to angle it away from the center and curl around, and this is going to be his seat from where his back leg will be. 
Coming just to the inside of that curve, I'm going to draw out a C that's facing backwards and slightly facing down. And this will be the top of his back leg. And from the bottom of that C, I'm going to draw a shape that looks like a J that's laying down. And then I'm going to connect his back body and the foot with a straight line across the bottom of my page, adding in a little line for toe. Come back to the second marker and finish off his front fur by drawing some loose wavy lines and connecting with the rest of his belly. Next, I need to draw in his front paw. So coming to the bottom of his fur, which is the little point at the triangle base, I'm going to draw a slightly angled line that's going to come just a little bit above the back foot and then create the top of his front paw. Make the bottom by drawing a straight line and add in a little toe. And then to separate this leg from the rest of his body, I'm just going to draw a line that mirrors the front of that and connect it to the back paw. And coming back to the very front of your fox's fur, you're going to draw out his second front paw that's actually behind him in this picture. So draw a slightly angled line, curving down for the foot, and then adding in a little toe. I'm also going to just draw the back side of this leg by connecting to the first front paw and drawing a line straight down to meet the foot. To draw your fox's tail so that it comes behind him, we're going to start near the bottom of his foot and draw a small semicircle that connects just below the curve in his back. Then I'm going to imagine that the top of that circle is moving through the body and as I come out the other side, I'm going to start to curve a line that moves towards my fox's face, just a little bit. And then I'm going to turn my line and come back down, creating a nice, big, fluffy tail, letting that curve come almost all the way to the bottom and then connecting back at the body. If there's a space between your two front paws, then that would be likely his tail in behind so you can continue that line just behind. The white part of my fox's tail is going to be separated just by some nice squiggly lines. It almost looks like he dipped his tail in paint. To give my fox a cute little setting, I'm going to begin by drawing out some grass. So starting just above the bottom of his feet, I'm going to draw out a wavy little line with some little peaks here and there for blades of grass, doing the same thing on both sides. Then I'm going to draw in some nice tall roses. So first I'm going to draw a big curvy line starting from the grass and just curling upwards, you can make this as tall or as small as you like. Then I'm going to draw a small circle leaving a gap between the top of my stem and the center of this flower. To create the rose, I'm gonna draw wavy petals, so almost like I'm making little letter M's. And I'm going to keep drawing petals behind over and over, moving all the way around the circle. The more you add, the bigger your flower will be and the more petals it will look like it has. You can add in some leaves. For my roses, I'm going to add lots of leaves going all the way down the stem. Then I'm going to create another rose on the other side. Once again, starting with a nice, whimsical, curly stem. Drawing my center just a little bit away from the top of the stem and then adding in those curvy petals. So when you're drawing your petals, imagine that you're just drawing them in between. Every time you draw another petal, it's in between the two in front of it. Then 
Then I'm going to add some floating leaves. I imagine that it's a nice windy day and this fox is just hanging out in the forest. So draw a nice curved line and then from one end, draw a second curved line coming back to it, leaving a small tail for the stem of your leaf. Add in the veins by drawing a line coming from one end to the other and small little lines moving out from the center. You can add in as many floating leaves as you like and they can be any shape or size. And finally, I think I'm going to give my little fox one more little flower. And this time I'm going to do it without a stem. So I'm going to start by drawing a small circle. And then I'm going to draw out the wavy petals. Usually I like to do three. So just three really loose little petals. And then I'm going to draw in my petals behind. So don't worry too much if your petals are nice and smooth. The wavier the better. And you can even add some little tiny leaves to this flower if you like. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait until next time for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. So in the meantime, keep making art and keep smiling.